One of the things that we were talking about was disc degeneration. I have to give the dental profession a lot of credit. Every time you go to the dentist, there's many different display models that show you tooth decay. And some of them are quite scary as time goes on if you do not have proper taking care of your teeth. Well, the same thing occurs with our spine. We're born with a disc that has all the proper nutrients. And as we get older, the disc, we can actually lose the nutrients, the nerves stop working, maybe through injuries, wear and tear, things of that nature, these things can occur. But let's look at the disc, shall we? The disc, as we've described it, is a jelly donut that's between the bones. And the nerves that come through here, a sixteenth of an inch, all attach to the spinal cord, which runs the whole way up to the brain. So the communication is, if this is happening in the low back, and the bone moves out of place and pinches the nerve, this will communicate it the whole way up to the spinal cord. So what ends up happening is, if the disc is in proper alignment, and the bones are in proper alignment, there's no communication of pain. But let's just say there's an injury, or as we get older, the disc starts to deteriorate. What ends up happening is, we described it as a jelly donut. Smash the jelly donut, what happens to the jelly? You can see. It actually impinges, it actually touches the nerve, actually then causes pain to the spinal cord, the spinal canal, and goes all the way to the brain and communicates pain, discomfort, and then you can have numbness and tingling to the legs. So the concept is this. The flexion distraction, or the exact decompression, that was developed by Dr. James Cox in Fort Wayne, Indiana, part of the low force chiropractic is this. You actually stretch the disc. By stretching the disc and doing this pumping action, what ends up happening is all these little nerves that go to the spine start working again and the disc actually opens up. So by doing this, you open up the disc, a lot of this junk that's out here goes back in. Again, it's like a vacuum effect. It opens up the disc and allows it to go from this back to this. Maybe not 100%, but pretty darn close that at least if we can take the pressure off of the nerve, it'll feel a lot better.